My name is Andy Brown. I was a cybersecurity and systems administration major at Pellissippi. I took my Pellissippi credits and transferred to Tennessee Tech University where I am now a graduate student studying computer science with a concentration in cybersecurity. And I am currently an intern with the Department of Homeland Security's Cyber and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA. So before I came to Pellissippi, I was a college dropout retail manager. And as fun as that was, I decided that did not have the long-term prospects that I was looking for. So a friend of mine who was an academic counselor at Pellissippi encouraged me to come and get the academic advising and really turned me on to some things that I didn't realize existed, like the, the money that it, from grants and scholarships that are available. Uh, so I went to Pellissippi for a very affordable price of free, and it really opened a lot of doors that would not have been opened up otherwise had I, had I not continued ed education. Yes, so a lot of people don't realize it, but Knoxville really does have a, a burgeoning technology sector. Uh, we have the technology headquarters of Discovery Communications here. We have Jewelry TV based here. Oak Ridge National Lab employs several dozens of thousands of people in the summer, I think. Uh, so there are a lot of opportunities in Knoxville. And Pellissippi, and specifically the teachers that work at Pellissippi, are very connected into that industry. They have a lot of good connections for getting jobs. They have a lot of good knowledge about what these people are looking for coming out of school. So not only does Pellissippi provide the education to get into these fields, they also, if you're willing to pursue it, they provide you the connections and the references that really do push you into the, the spotlight on applying for internships and jobs post-education. Uh, a lot of the, the people were my favorite parts. Uh, the students were, were great. There were a lot of older students that, that had come back to college uh, in later years that were a lot of fun to be around. You don't really get that in, in college a lot of times if you, if you go straight out of high school, uh, which I appreciated as, as somewhat of an older student. Uh, the, the teachers at Pellissippi, I've mentioned their, their connections and their knowledge were all very good. And the overall campus community at Pellissippi was, was very nice. The, the small size, the focus on the students, uh, you become friends with all your classmates, you become friends with all your professors. That's a really good place to be. Uh, I don't really think I was surprised uh, because it, it was what I was looking for really. You know, that's, that's a criteria that I was, I was really looking at when I picked the school was the availability for the, the hands-on learning. So that was super important. Uh, and you can see behind me some of the, the toys and things available. There's about a dozen 3D printers back there and some, some infrastructure security devices that, that are hard to get your hands on. Uh, but, but yeah, definitely very happy with my experience with the hands-on education here and, and the material available for that. Uh, yes, yeah, definitely was exposed to a lot of really unique things uh, through some through a professor that worked at Oak Ridge National Lab. I, I got involved with a, a contractor that works there and got my first official uh, real guy internship up there in, uh, for a contractor that works at Oak Ridge. So that was a, a good opportunity. And some, some social opportunities that were, were provided uh, were also important to me, I think. I was on the Student Advisory Council, so twice a year I got to go to uh, the University of Tennessee and, and eat their culinary students uh, meals which was very delicious and also was a, a good networking opportunity. I met some people there that, that helped me a lot. My favorite professor at Pellissippi State was uh, Charles Nelson. He was our cybersecurity professor. He has since retired but he uh, built the lab that's behind the camera now. Uh, basically from scratch with his own two bare hands. A lot of really cool technology and I helped with a lot of that. That's another opportunity that I can add was the, the hands-on constructing the lab uh, under Charles Nelson who was extremely competent, like knew more about computers, forgot more about computers than I'll ever know in my life, I think. Uh, so that was a, a, a very good thing. Uh, for me, I, I'd always kind of been a little bit involved with, with computers, but a lot of it was, was super new and I had kind of some misconceptions about how, how certain things work that I had to sort of get over. Um, but keeping flexible really, really helped me to encounter a challenge and then move past it. Uh, and additionally, when I started, I was, I was still working full time, but Pellissippi's class schedule was, was really accommodating. I managed to get not only full-time work schedule but a full-time class schedule that didn't interfere with with work at all and was 
you know, challenging to maintain, I suppose, with, with workloads sometimes, but scheduling-wise was, was easy to work out. So currently I'm interning with the Department of Homeland Security, uh, working on a threat hunting team. So I've sort of pivoted from my, my background at, at Pellissippi that was specifically uh, like IT management and, and cybersecurity more into a pure cybersecurity field. So I, I, I mostly do network intrusion monitoring and uh, I'm developing some tools to assist analysts with, with going through that. Um, while also working on my, my master's degree at, at Tennessee Tech, which was a good transition from, from Pellissippi, I think. The classes at Pellissippi really helped prepare me for that, particularly for the, the more hands-on classes at, at Tech, like the cybersecurity class, and additionally competitions. So there's a, a active cybersecurity competition space out there with, with many professional and, and private organizations that participate in that. And I was able to walk in my, my first semester at Tech and, and be a starter on pretty much all of their, their cyber competition teams because of my hands-on experience at, at Pellissippi. And that prepared, prepared me very well for those, those hands-on knowledge-based competitions. Uh, there's never, never a monotonous day, I don't think. There are certainly jobs that you could get into in IT that, that may be monotonous, but on the whole, I think a monotonous job in IT is like the most exciting job in any other industry you could find uh, because of the, the rapid pace at which the industry evolves. Uh, we saw this year in particular the SolarWinds attack was a massive cyber breach that essentially overnight changed the landscape for cybersecurity and asset management because uh, this tool that was in such massive use was, was compromised. So things like that happen and a lot of times it is extremely scary, uh, but it, it really does keep you on your toes and keep things fresh and exciting. And if you get bored with where you're at, transitioning to somewhere else is, is essentially you know, a month or two of studying away. Yeah, so, so for selfish reasons, cybersecurity particularly right now, I think has a negative unemployment rate, which means that there are jobs right now that are filled with people who are not competent enough to have them because people who are competent enough to have them do not exist. Uh, and that's, that's not cybersecurity specific, that's, that's across essentially the entire IT landscape. Uh, jobs like this are in such high demand because everybody, you know, everybody's transitioning to these cloud technologies, everybody's doing management on all hundreds and hundreds of thousands of systems at some organization. So the people with skills required to run that sort of thing are in super high demand right now. Uh, so developing those skills right now and getting a good foundation and in a broad array of skills like you get taught at, at Pellissippi is a really good way to uh, start a good career now and then brace yourself for transition into other careers related down the road if, if you need to. Uh, work like Pellissippi is doing right now I think goes a long way for that. Uh, when I think underrepresented groups, I, one thing that jumps to my mind are, are people that, that grew up disadvantaged maybe and, and did not get the opportunity to go to school uh, on a traditional timeline and had to go out and work to support their families or to support themselves. So Pellissippi giving people the opportunity to come back on, on the, the scholarships that, that pay for your, your associate's degree uh, as an adult is, is really great, I think, and, and reaches a broad swath of, of people who otherwise would not have the opportunity to come in and better themselves with education like this. Uh, so, and that, that, that's really the, the category that I was in, I think. Um, I dropped out of college my first time through and it's, it's somewhat of a regret, I think, but if I hadn't done that, I, I would not have gone to Pellissippi and would not have ended up where I'm at now. Uh, so that, that kind of program is important to me.